Cassie, is she being an a-hole? I mean, she's got dogs. She wants them to be comfortable. Yeah, she's got guests, but the guests aren't there every day. A few days ago, an old friend from work who's 25, and we don't talk that often, but we're friendly, was visiting in town, and she asked if she could stay at my house for a week. I accepted. I had my dogs in one of the rooms in our house. They preferred over sleeping with me. And unfortunately, because my house is a two-bedroom house, my dogs are in one bedroom, and my husband and I are in the other. We empty the dogs out when close friends or family come over sometimes, but not usually. When my friend arrived, I told her that she could use the mattress and sleep in the living room, or she could use the pull-out couch in the living room. I gave her blankets, added blackout curtains, and told her I wouldn't enter the living room, turn on the lights, or anything like that until she woke up. She pointed to the other room where my dog slept and asked why she couldn't (laughs) sleep there. I told her why, and she blew up at me saying that I care about my dogs more than I care about her and stuff like that. She ended up staying at my house but complained about everything. Am I the a-hole for making my old work friend sleep in the living room so my dogs could have the guest room? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes, you are. Make the dog sleep with you. Like, that's the sacrifice you make for having a guest in your home. Like, you want them to feel comfortable. I don't care what lengths you go to to make somebody feel comfortable, but sleeping in a living room, you're going to feel... You're never going to feel at ease or perfectly comfortable. Mo, you look surprised. I was shocked that y'all said that as dog people. Oh, yeah. No, I mean... My dogs are going to be just fine, or would be fine, if they're living in the living room for a night or two. Oh, it would be like a slumber party for them. It's like a whole new adventure. Yeah. That's fair. It's a Disney movie for them. Okay. I I agree with you. I do think she is an a-hole for it, but I I just figured... You were genuinely surprised by our... I was, (laughs) because I figured as dog owners, you would feel like, you know, my dogs live here. So, like, they get first dibs. This is their home, just as if it were my children. And so if you're a guest, then yes, you do come after the dogs. That's what I thought y'all would feel. And that's like... I, any movie you ever watch um, when there's a bunch of guests coming over, even the kids get displaced. So, like, grandparents can have their room or That's whatever. True. You know? So, it's, yeah. I wouldn't even want to sleep in the dog's room. It's going to smell like dogs. It's yeah, going to be dog it. hair up in there. Uh-uh. That's why you clean it before you have your guests can't come over. Can't be clean enough. Oh, you think? Yeah, can't be clean enough. <laughs> uh, here is Abby. Good morning, Abby. You're part of the Bird Show. Hi. Hey, good morning. Good morning. So, I... I absolutely think she's being the a-hole. Like, I remember growing up, like, my grandparents were coming into town. My parents would kick us out. We'd be sleeping on the floor. (laughs) We'd be sleeping outside Mm -hmm. in the patio furniture. And so the fact that she's, like, prioritizing her dogs over her friend, (laughs) I think that's really messed up. I'm with Abby. Like, anybody that ever came over to our house, the kids were always low on the totem pole. Absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) That's a fact. 100%. Take out your own bed. (laughs) Uh, Patrick, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Hi. Hey, what's up, guys? You tell us. Hey, um, so, I mean, I, I agree, or I grew up the same way that Abby did. Um, you know, I was always put on the back burner, but for me, I mean, I've got three dogs, and, I mean, they rule the roost. You know what I mean? So, no matter what, you bring somebody over, then they're going to have to cater to yours and your dog's rules. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, it's my, I, live in, I live in my dog house. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are certain things, like... If a guest comes over, no, you can't invade my dog's space where they where they eat. Like, there's going to be things like that. But as far as like whether you're going to give a person a couch or a bed, yes, the way you look, kind of see you. She could pull the mattress in the living room. That's what she offered her. <laughs> I'm just laughing because you guys are so adamant, and yet Reddit voted her not the a hole. Really? What? They said the guests should be lucky. They're asking for accommodations for a week. She made room for them. Some dogs get stressed out when they move spaces or sleeping spaces. That's not great for all owners. And they're like, her house, her rules. If you don't like it, find a hotel. That's true, though, man. That's true. Wow. (laughs) I'm not shocked about that. That is true. You like it. (laughs) (laughs) The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? You can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.